Hey guys, it is Arika Misha and today we are cooking shrimp fritters. Yes, there's also uh, what we call conch fritters as well. But today I will be cooking shrimp fritters. Just like conch fritters but it's the shrimp instead of the conch. That's it. So, alright, so let me show you guys my little handwritten down recipe. So, just in case I forget to put it in the description box guys. This is what I've been doing because sometimes I'll be forgetting to put it in the description box. So, it is my shrimp fritters. Alright, so you're going to need chopped shrimp, one cup of whole milk, two cups of flour, one egg, green, red peppers, onions, celery, uh, onion powder, garlic, oibe, uh, chili powder. Did I spell oibe? Oh, babe, y'all. Anyway, y'all. So, yeah. Y'all know. I was writing fast. Oh, babe. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Why, why my thing say? Oh, babe. Oh, uh-uh. But y'all know what I mean. I'm talking about the old bay. Anyway, y'all. I be trying to do a million things I want, y'all. Anyway, so. Alright. Just showing y'all my little quick hand written down little bootleg recipe I got here y'all don't don't judge anyway okay yep that's all you're gonna need y'all got it and in the back I got mix everything together fry in the pan easy you are gonna mix all that stuff together and then you make your little patties and fry y'all gonna see how I do it I just wanted to show y'all that in case I forget to put it in the description box which I know me I probably will but that's okay y'all saw it take a picture freeze your TV whatever all right y'all let's move on all right so y'all see i have my shrimp here i already got my i did get the pre-cooked shrimp um so i've got that already i'm gonna chop that up of course um i've got my diced celery i've got some diced yellow onions and i've got the tried pepper mix tried pepper yellow red green got the tried pepper mix it was easier to just get it that way already chopped up for me y'all see how i did that quick and easy i've got some garlic salt can use whatever season y'all want I'm just showing y'all what I'm using today got some garlic salt here I got my one egg rolling around I got the oil bay blackened and I also got the oil bay garlic herb um I've got some chili powder got a higher chili powder and I just got this other little season I wanted to add it's grill mates roasted garlic and herb I want to add that as well and I've got my milk back here guys and I've got my flour. And my you guys see my egg rolling around the counter there. But yeah, guys, that's everything. So, all right, let go. Okay, guys, let's go ahead, add everything together, put everything in the bowl, and we'll mix it all together. That's what we're gonna be doing. All the ingredients I told you, we are just gonna dump them all in this bowl and mix it up. That's all we're gonna do easy okay so let's start off make sure my bowl is dry all right let's start off with our two cups of flour one cup two cups of flour all right, let's move this flour out of the way. Okay, two cups of flour. We already got that in there. My measuring cup washed out here. All right, so what do we want to add next? We just dumping it all in here. Okay, one cup of whole milk. One cup of whole milk. Okay, all right. One egg. All right, let's see what we wanna add next. We wanna add our green peppers, the red pepper green pepper mix. I 
gonna do about a cup of this. Yep, a cup of that. That looks good. A cup of that mix, that, that three mix there, the tri mix. All right, let's do a cup of our onions. Cup of onions. This is easy. It's way too easy. All right, cup of onions and our diced celery. Celery, I'm sorry, celery. Let's say it all bougie, celery. Okay, a cup of that. All right, let's get those all closed up. All right, try mix onion, celery in there. Okay, one tablespoon. Now we're gonna add a tablespoon of all of these. All of these, whatever seasons you wanna use. However you want to season your fritters, because I mean, people uh, season their, like the comp fritters. I mean, this is exactly what it's just like the comp fritters, but it's just conch, not shrimp. So, I'm sorry, it's just shrimp, not conch, I meant. I'm using a shrimp in place of the um, comp fritter. So, I've got a tablespoon of my garlic salt. I'm just adding a tablespoon of all of these guys. Tablespoon of my oil bay blackened, you know, because... It shrimp seafood, you know, give it a little flavor there. Tablespoon of my oil bay blackened. Let's do a tablespoon of our chili powder. Chili powder, that's what's going to give it the little kick that we love. And also that color, that little light pink color we're used to with the fritters. Gives it that little, that beautiful pink color. All right, and I'm going to do... A tablespoon of this uh, roasted garlic herb. Tablespoon of that. All right. Ooh, this gonna be good. It's gonna be good, y'all. All right. And the last thing I'm using is my oil bay garlic herb. I think all I got left is a tablespoon. Yep. Let me open this thing. Yep, that's all I had in there. One tablespoon left. All right, that's good. Okay, so we got uh, one cup of whole milk, two cups of flour, one egg, one cup of the tri-mix uh, peppers, one cup of onions, one cup of celery, one tablespoon of the onion powder, one tablespoon garlic powder, one tablespoon of oil bay, one tablespoon of chili powder. Yep, that's my all my seasons. And last but not least, the star of the show, our shrimp. Let me go ahead and mix this up first. Mix this up first. Before I want to mix this up before I add my shrimp. so good with all those peppers and stuff oh yes smells delicious let me move this stuff and make sure you guys can see make sure you guys can see the mix whoa okay y'all see me let me try to get y'all over here more get y'all down in the bowl better okay I think that's better okay Got that all mixed up. Smells so good. Smells so good, y'all. Smells so good. All right, let me add the shrimp. Let's get our shrimp in here. And you see, I got a lot of shrimp because I want mine loaded with shrimp. I hate when people make conch fritter and they only give you like one or two pieces of conch fritter, of conch in the fritter. I can't stand that. Give me a lot of conch. I know conch is pricey, but 
Don't be trying to give me no one or two pieces of comforter in my, uh-uh. So, you guys see, I got it loaded up. Loaded up with the shrimp. It is loaded. Get these shrimp mixed in here real good. Oh, yes, that is looking good. Our shrimp fritters are looking so good right now. And it smells so good. It smells like the sea. Under the sea. But well, yeah, not really under the sea, but y'all know. Mm -mm. All right, let me put this fork away. And let me get my little my little spatula helper here so we can get this mixed up correctly and properly mm -hmm. smells so good it looks so good and pretty and colorful yes mm. yummy yummy just like comforters, like I said. But it's just shrimp. I'm using shrimp. When you're making fritter, you can use whatever whatever you want. It's your way. When you're cooking, you can cook however you want. However you want to. Mm-hmm. I know this looks really good. All right. Okay, guys. All right, so we got our mix all mixed up. Try to take y'all in to give y'all a better shot of that mix. Fooling with my camera. All right, there it is, y'all. All nice and pretty and colorful with those chunks of shrimp in it and peppers. I love the colorful peppers. All right, when I come back, we're going to be frying them up. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I'm getting ready to put our shrimp fritter in the oil. And I'm going to use, like, my little... My little ice cream scooper here to get these fried up. Gonna put it in here like that. Just gonna kind of mash it down like that. They ain't gotta be pretty. They ain't gotta be perfect. And I kind of like, you know, take it and just smash them down a little bit. See if I can get one more in there. I should be able to get one more down in there. Just kind of shape it with my spoon there. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. I was trying to make them like, you know, like a little circle like this. You know, trying to make it cute like that. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit more. So y'all can see them cooking up. Yes. Shrimp fritters. Get my fritter shrimp flipped over here. Come on now, let's flip. I'm going to let that one cook a little bit more. Let me get a fork to help me flip these over. Yeah. Don't need a lot of oil. Just enough to fry it. And I got my fork just to kind of help out. Mm, too hot, but I want my oil hot enough. Ooh, they look yummy. I'm going to try to see if I can make them all, you know, the rest of them that shape. But, you know, whatever. It don't matter. They just fritters. They're not supposed to be all, you know, 
They look amazing and they smell, they smell amazing. And I'm gonna flip that back over. So I'm getting nice and golden brown. Yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna leave that little piece right there for me to take. That's gonna be my love, my love sample. Mm. All right, they are looking good. They are looking good. All right, guys, that's it. And the only thing I'm gonna do is just let them get brown on both sides. That's it. Shrimp fritters, y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge, oh, yes, it's power. All right, guys, bye. All right, guys, just wanted to come back and show you I am done with the shrimp fritters. Just wanted to show you guys. I did not get a chance to show you guys, but look at those shrimp fritters. Oh, my goodness. All right, y'all, I just had to come back and show y'all the shrimp fritters all done. They look so good, and the whole house smells like the sea. It smells like seafood. It smells so good, guys. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Bye.